Right, so let's start by creating the game server. To do this, I'm gonna create an empty directory. I'll name it game server. And I'll open this directory in uh, Visual Studio Code. Once I have it open in the Visual Studio Code, I'm going to open the terminal and I will create the package.json by running npm init. I'll just give it the flag y so we can create it easily. Now I have the package.json here. We need only with one module for this uh, server, which is edge multiplay. So I'm going to run npm install edge dash multiplay so we have here the module installed next i need to create a file for our server so here i'm just gonna create app.js which will act as our server Creating the server is super easy. So I'm just gonna type const edge multiplay equal require edge multiplay. And the way it works, I have to type edge multiplay dot WS server, which is WebSocket server, and then on new connection, I will have a callback. The callback will have path and connection. When whenever there is a new connection trying to enter the lobby, this event will be emitted. I'll get the path. I can use this for uh, authentication purposes. And the connection here, I'm just going to add the connection to the lobby by typing edge multiplay dot add to lobby and then I'll pass the connection. That should be it for the server. Uh, let's check if the server uh, have any problems by running app.js so I'll come here in the terminal and type node app.js then hit enter as you can see here I have the UDP server listening WebSocket server listening and the stat server is listening if you want to change any of those ports you can uh, go to node modules and then go to edge multiplay here and in, uh, in the server you can change the ports here um, to whatever ports that you like if uh, those ports are used in your machine uh, otherwise i just want to make sure the server is running so i'm gonna open chrome and go to localhost the stat server is running already so I can see the players in the lobby, how many rooms uh, uh, are available and other statistics about the server. Now um, let's go to the Unity port. So I have here an empty Unity project. First thing I need to do is I need to import Edge Multiplay Unity package. So I leave the link in the video description if you want to go uh, download the package. And then I'll go to the releases and the latest release is 1.2. There is a unity package here. I'm just going to download it and I import this unity package to my unity project. So I'll import. Once the package is imported, I can uh, access the code here. I'm going to use an example from the scene, from the packages by going to edge multiplay examples, ping pong, it's a game example, and then I'll import it to my project. And under ping pong, I'll go to the scenes, ping pong scene, and then the game manager. Since I'm running the server locally, I need to um, just check the used localhost server if I run, 
you see player connected and the server is running and I'm waiting for other players to join so I'm gonna stop the player and create another instance so I have the game here this is gonna run it so I have one instance here running and it's connected to my server here as you can see I'll run the other instance in unity editor instance running next to each other I can move the player and here I can move the other player also and the game goes on that's it if you have any questions feel free to join the discord server and there is a written version of this video you'll find it in the video description